Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to bypass this screen if you're trying to install Windows 11 ARM using UTM or VMware Fusion. This is the screen which says, let's connect you to a network. When you're trying to set up Windows 11 ARM, it's not going to let you do this. And there's a well-known fix, which is OOBE bypass NRO. However, this is not going to work unless you follow a specific set of steps this time. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is going to allow you to use Windows 11 ARM on your M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously to get a virtual machine running of Windows 11 ARM, whether it's through VMware Fusion or something like UTM. And we're gonna to get to this screen here. What we wanna do is to open up the command line now, because if we go to the error connection screen where it can't find internet, then it's gonna to be too late. We have to do this process a few windows before that. So this is the right time to do this. So if you do find yourself at this, let's connect you to a network screen and you don't have the option to continue, then basically you've gotta restart the virtual machine and restart the install process to get to the right place. So once we've restarted the virtual machine and restarted the install process, we can enter these commands in order to get the command line window open to bypass the screen. What we're gonna do is to hold down the function key, press shift and then F10. And then that's going to open up this elevated prompt. Here we're gonna press yes. And this is gonna allow us to open up a command window, which is gonna help us to bypass the no network internet error. So we need to type in this command here, OOBE, backslash bypass NRO. So I'll leave this in the description, OBE backward slash bypass NRO, and then press return. And then the whole virtual machine is gonna restart. And now we're gonna go through the country setup process. I'm gonna add a keyboard, skip keyboard layout. So now when we get to let's connect you to a network screen, we now have a I don't have internet button, and it's gonna let us continue with the setup. So the main thing is that we have to press function shift F10 before this window happens. So now that we're ready, we can go ahead and press I don't have internet, and then we can press continue with limited setup. Here we're going to agree to the license agreement. Here I'll enter my name, here I'll press next, next, next and then press accept, and then the virtual machine is gonna restart. So here, Windows 11 ARM is fully installing. Now Windows 11 ARM is saying it's getting things ready for you, and this is gonna take a few minutes, so just let that finish. So Windows 11 ARM is now booted in the desktop. It's asking us to install a new build of Windows. This is despite the fact that we downloaded the latest beta build, but don't worry about that. Here we're just gonna close these windows. These are the previous OBE requests. So now we have Windows 11 ARM working great through UTM on a Mac, we don't have to have any of the drivers installed beforehand in order to continue the process of installing Windows 11 ARM without any internet. And this should work fine with UTM or VMware Fusion. So if you're having trouble installing Windows 11 ARM even with this fix, then just remember that Parallels Virtual Machine software doesn't require any of these fixes or hacks in order to get Windows 11 ARM working on the Mac. Furthermore, if you want to do any kind of 3D acceleration, then UTM and VMware Fusion won't support it, but Parallels will. And we can even run high-end DirectX 10 and 11 games. For example, this is Control running on the M1 Max chip, and it's running great. And this is despite the fact that this is an x86 64-bit game being emulated on the ARM operating system, and it's being virtualized on the M1 Max chip. If you want to learn how to do this then please make sure to check out my tutorial in the video for how to install Parallels and how to get it working best on the Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway I hope you found this video useful. If you did please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.